Crooks Brothers, it's a Johannesburg listed company, head office based in Natal and they basically diversified in terms of primary agricultural production. Crooks Brothers established themselves in the Western Cape in deciduous fruit production in the early 90s. There was a conscious decision made to, to expand in the deciduous fruit, which took the total hectares under apples within, within the group to, to 700 hectares. The area we farm is the EGV area, which is the Elgin, Gebo, Feyerboom and Veliesdorp area. Um, it's one of the, th the three biggest apple producing regions in South Africa. The attraction to growing fruit in the, in the EGVV area is primarily around the, 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 the climate, being the cold, wet winters we experience. In the last five years, Crooks Brothers has undertaken a fairly aggressive replant program on the new farms that have been purchased. The main focus has been on, on, the, on the better strained, newer uh, bicolored varieties, which, which are higher value. Of our production, 70% is made up of apples, 30% is pears. We grow all the major commercial varieties. During our season, which is our harvesting period, which runs from January through to May, we employ roughly a thousand seasonal workers on a daily basis. So once the, 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 the fruit is picked on the farms, we do have some cold store facilities on, on high noon specifically. Um, once those facilities are full, we then uh, move our fruit on to, to two a day, um, which then uh, store and pack our fruit. They are also a 50% shareholder in True Cape, which does all the marketing through all the local markets as well as the international markets um, is done via True Cape. The future looks pretty bright in terms of the new varieties that, that have been planted. We currently have 397 hectares of bananas in production. Um, we've just done a recent expansion of another 38 hectares. So in total we'll have around 430 hectares, 440 hectares of bananas in the year to come. The past season we had exceptional two years, um, especially with regarding our, uh, our prices, average prices for the season. The two, last two years we also increased our bunch mass and our total yields. The current situation with the re recent rains we had, um, we're in for a good season next season. The farming here is quite good because it's the area that allows a sugar cane to grow. It's growing nicely because we do about uh, 70 to 120 tons a hectare. Most in trips we do 120 tons. So it's a good region for sugarcane. We've started around 2008 with these joint operations. The partnership that we have one is like one of our brothers. Not necessarily that we're working with Crooks brothers, you know. But we are like family, all of us. Uh, we're going to make a good partnership with Crooks Brothers because they know all the farms that we, uh, we're going to have. We've been out of uh, this operation for a number of years until uh, this land got restored back to us. So we then agreed that uh, since we don't have the skills, we needed to start upskilling, reskilling, and taking our children to school. And to an extent that uh, some of them are now farm managers on this farm through that program. When I started in 2008, the farm was around 90 hectares. So now if you look at from 2008, now we have uh, 1,250. It increased a lot. So we are moving from spring class irrigation now. We are using subsurface strips in order for us to run away from this drought and then to save water. Most of the land that has been restored to us is under full production. Our plan is that once uh, the remaining uh, land get restored, we are going to immediately incorporate into this current operation. No, to extend that, we will then be the biggest cane producers in this Nkomazi area. <laughs>